Good morning, Charging Wildcast. Today is Monday, April 1st, which means it's not April Fool's Day. On the main desk, I'm Janiah Henderson. And on a virtual studio, I'm Christian Royal. Today is also Community Garden Week, so let's get our hands dirty and grow some crops. That being said, let's get into today's news. 2025, your class officers have been picked, so we want to congratulate the, and acknowledge the following. Class President Jordan Anderson, Vice President Maggie Hardy, and Secretary Soraya Howard. Also, Treasurer Journey Beasley, Historian Savannah Stevens, and Spirit Coordinator Troy McKinney. Congratulations. Speaking of elections, we want to formally announce that our very own Dravian Dotson will be a candidate in the 2024 president election. April 1st. So yeah, let's go to the weather. How is it going, Wildcat? It's been a little bit. I've feeling a little under the weather. So yeah, and these cameras show a lot. Like that's showing the future. That hasn't happened yet. Anyways, we'll get into the news. So today, good old good old Monday. Uh, I think I think it's Monday. Last I was told. Um, I'm looking at this and yep, cloudy. Uh, high of 80, low of 62. It's, it's a lot of clouds. Tuesday is partly cloudy, so it's a little better. Uh, like just some clouds passing by, just as it happens. You know, just passing through the sky. Happens all the time. You guys have seen it. High of 72, low of 46. And for Wednesday, the clouds have finally passed. No more. Uh, yep, no more. A 65 and a 41. Sorry. 65 and a 41 on that Wednesday. It's nice sunny. Thursday, it's uh, 68, 46. And, you know, it's it's a nice week. Nothing, nothing's going on. That was weird. Friday is sunny still because it's sunny still. We got a high of 74 and a low of 49, which is a, around the temperatures of like 74 to 49. I would, that's fun for you. Saturday, we got clouds again. They came back. We missed them. Uh, partly cloudy, high of 78, low of 55 as it happens. And then Sunday, ending off our week on a nice, clean note. Nothing in the way, nothing obscure, nothing happening. Uh, just a boring old sunny day with a high of 80 and a low of 58. So Sunday ends our week, kind of boring, but nothing at all going on. So we'll see how it works next week. So that's, that's the weather. Remember, if you are a junior interested in art, and would like to join the senior studio next year, then the auditions are now open. If you want to audition, please go to Ms. Winslow's class at BL43 or BL41 to pick up the required forms. These are due today. We have a great incentive for all students who can meet the 30-day challenge requirements. The challenge begins today. All students who meet the challenge will be able to join a free movie with free food and concessions during the school day. Solar Eclipse Week is next Monday, April 8th. We will not have school, so make sure to have your glasses and enjoy the view. The partial eclipse starts around 12.30 p.m., and the total eclipse will follow at around 1.50. The eclipse should end around 3 p.m., and once it's over, we will not have school for the next two weeks due to lack of vision. April Fool's. The North Little Rock Animal Shelter wants you to come and adopt. All animals are well hygiene and are ready for you. Adoption hours are 12.30 to 5 p.m. The adoption fee covers the cost of spay slash neuter. For more info, please contact their cell, 501-791-8577, or email animalservice at nlr.ar.gov. The first Build My Future event is coming to the Conway Expo Center on April 18th. It is a construction career day and gives students the opportunity to spend a day in the construction industry through an interactive showcase featuring educational displays, equipment operations, and learning labs. So if you are interested in a career in construction, make some time to visit. 
Funland and Birds Park is almost done and will be open to the public on July the 4th. This will be the first time it's open since the devastating tornado that hit us last year. And now, as we do every week, it's time to perform the Star Spangled Banner. This week, our national anthem will be performed by Jordan Bethel. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled the news we have for today wildcats remember that if you have any announcements or comments you can contact us via email at nlrtv at nlrsd.org and don't forget to follow us on twitter at nlrtv4 on instagram at nlrtv underscore nlrhs and on our facebook page at north Little rock tv and please subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye <laughs> have a great day wildcats